hi youtubers so today i have some new html5 api feature for you guys so today we would be preparing some desktop notification it is a cool and handy noti notification that allows user to get notified about the events or happenings in the site so enough about the talking let's get directly dive into it and start coding so for quick tutorial i have already written the code so i would be explaining you step by step uh, why this code is required and then you can copy and paste the code because i would be publishing the code later so i have prepared one uh, html file uh, which you can see at the top it is a desktop notification html file so before accessing the desktop notification API provided by HTML5, you need to grant some privileges to the user and then you can notify the user. So first the permission should be granted by the user that they want to receive notification and they trust the site. After they have trusted the site, then you can have the desktop notification out of it. So in the body tag you can see that we have uh, two anchor elements uh, one is for requesting the permission explicitly and the another one is for triggering or showing the notification api so at the first line you can see that i am getting the reference of uh, first link that is uh, reference to the id of desktop permission which is a uh, short form of dn perm and similarly I am getting the reference of anchor tag for the trigger now I am assigning the event listener that is on click I want to perform this action so e.preventDefault is basically when you click on anchor tag and since it is a href of hash so it gets appended to the URL so it will not append it to the URL so the URL would be the same uh, but the hashtag will not be appended to the URL so this line just denotes that whether the uh, feature whatever browser that you have open is available or not so if it is not available then it will show the user that notification is not supported so this line just validates whether the notification api is available in the browser or not if it is available then uh, we are accessing the global object of notification and then showing the permission and uh, while showing the permission then uh, uh, after um, user prompts with a dialog box that uh, whether you want to trust this site and receive notification so after their notification you have two buttons allow and deny so once you click on allow or deny a callback is triggered or the promise is triggered and in which uh, when you put allow then it is granted when you click on allow it is granted and uh, when you once you click on de uh, deny then it is denied so if it is denied then uh, you will get an alert box like you can uh, you denied to show notification and if it is a granted one uh, you allowed it everything then you granted the notification alert box will come up so this is the uh, permission uh, right now uh, what it is looks like then to trigger it in the notification uh, I have created one uh, local variable with the name notify this hash this prevents the hash to be appended on the URL and then if now we are checking the permission at the global level so if it is not equal to default then that means that you have allowed the notification to be shown if it is equal to default then you have not allowed the site to give you the notification out of it so since we created a local variable with the name notify uh, we created a object of notification and here is the title of the notification and these are the some properties that you can tag with so body is the detail description icon is the, on the left hand side you will see the icon which icon you want to display with this tag is generally referenced to the individual notification id so uh, 
once the notification is uh, shown to the user now uh, when once the user clicks on the notification then this on click event handler gets associated with it and then uh, we can use window dot location uh, that is uh, appended with the URL of message of the ID associated with it so let's check uh, how it looks like finally so you can see that this code is running so let me refresh this page again and if I click on request permission then uh, I have already granted the permission uh, so let me just use global default task so let me reload this page then you can see that the once you click on the link for the request permission then you get a pop-up stating that uh, whether you want to allow the notification to be shown or not then uh, uh, you can click on allow and block button so once you click on the allow button uh, this call back would be triggered and it will check based on the string so based on uh, the allow or denied button uh, you will get the alert boxes so let me just right now block it so you will see that uh, alert box come you deny to show notification now the notification will not be shown okay now let me just allow the notification see in the notification type blocked by you so uh, let me again uh, reload this page and first request permission then I clicked on allow you could see that the alert box showing you granted the notification and now once I click on trigger you can see that a notification on the right hand side is shown this you don't need to add any extra plugin to it it is natively available in the browser but some browser doesn't support that that is why this line is checking whether the notification is enabled or not now once you click on it you can see that uh, message 1234 is appended so if I uh, notification dot on click that is why uh, through this uh, tag uh, because we are defining tag so that is why it is appended with 1234 so if I click 123456 and save this file and trigger it and once you click on it see you can see that the message 123456 is appended to it so this is uh, what the notification desktop notifications look like so you can leverage this API feature uh, let me show it to you that in Safari also it is working fine because I don't have Internet Explorer so I can't show you that so if I refresh this if I request for the permission so if I allow it and then if I trigger you could see that a notification is triggered okay now once I click on it you could see that the message 123456 is appended right so this is the basic of desktop notification uh, you cannot run this code in your uh, local file environment uh, because it requires uh, that this code should be published to any server then only you can uh, run the code so it should be placed this code should be placed in one of the server so if you have uh, some server installed locally because I have PHP installed locally in my uh, PC that is why you could see that I have a URL stating of localhost it is not like that file colon double slash so it will not run on file colon double slash it should be uh, running in the server so I hope this tutorial would be useful to all of you guys uh, hope you enjoy this tutorial have a nice day bye